Okay, guys, we got this 2010 Chevy Traverse. I changed the oil a couple weeks ago. This is the oil I use. Mobile one, six quarts. About a week later, we got the low oil pressure light. The oil pressure light was coming on, and um, I checked the oil. I thought it was low, and then it, we got the a message across the dash saying to stop the engine that the car had low oil pressure. There it is. But by me working on cars for so long and the engine um, stayed running great. It was accelerating smoothly. And I know when a vehicle is suffering from low oil pressure. So I've seen some things online about these having a faulty oil switch. And we're going to change it out and see uh, if that stops the light from coming on. Because now it's getting a little bit more frequent. It came on today a couple times. And just to be on the safe side, like I said, the engine still is performing at its peak um, level. It's not stalling or hesitating to accelerate. So that lets me know I don't think it's the oil pressure. I just think it's a problem with uh, the oil pressure switch. I changed up when I changed it before I changed the oil, guys. It was perfect. No, nothing. The moment I changed the oil, a week later, less than a week later, we was getting that low oil pressure. Like, so we're going to swap it out and see if that stops our problem. As you guys can see, I got the mobile um, extended life oil filter as well. The oil pressure sensor sits along the side of that thing. And we're going to jack the car up and get under here and see if I can get to it without removing it. You need a special tool. Won't no socket go up over that thing. And it's impossible to get a wrench on it. So, uh, make sure you guys how it looks. This is the tool you're gonna need. The size of that, well, most oil pressure sensors are one and one sixteenth. So this fits a couple different sizes, but um, the part is here. It's a GM part. Um, just kind of went back with some OEM product opposed to using aftermarket um, just to make sure that's the sensor itself is faulty, just in case. So let's uh, get the car jacked up and uh, go from there. Guys, I'm underneath the car and I don't think I can get it from under here without removing a whole lot of stuff. Got my jack stands in place. Yeah, there's no way I can get it from here without removing this front engine mount. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get this from up top. I got the light flashing out here. I got my light. I don't, I'm making get it without removing the oil filter, guys. They're on two different angles. Let's see. There it is with the green plug. So we're gonna take this plug off. Another thing, guys, you want to make sure this is cool. I have a light, a magnetic light sticking onto the manifold. So you want to make sure this thing is cool. Hand down in there, guys, and got the plug removed. Very easy and simple. So I'm going to try to prop my phone up here to watch me get down there and get it screwed off. So let me stick the ratchet, I mean, the socket on here and let's see what kind of clearance I got. I got the socket on there and I got a short extension, which as you guys can see, it's pretty close to the air compressor lines. Maybe if I can get a sh another short extension on there and uh, use my swivel head ratchet. This may can kind of get me in here like this and have some play. So I'm going to see what I get, guys, before I start it and let you guys know what you guys can use that'll work. Okay, guys, before I take it loose, this is what I get. Using my swivel head ratchet wrench. Make sure I get a good angle so you guys can see. I'm all the way down on it.
try to give it a little light turn and see how it is. It's pretty firm on that guy. So once I get it to turn, so I break the seal on the oil sensor. Um, show you guys how easy it is to come out. Okay, guys, I got it broke loose. Uh, It's still kind of tight after about the sixth turn. Still somewhat tight. You can feel it coming loose. It's getting better. Still tight though. Can't screw it by hand at this point. But none of this is coming out, so. Sorry, I can't get a better angle, guys, and get no light down in there. But I think I got it. Okay, guys, you can see it's out. I can screw it by hand now and get down in here. I'm turning it, but I don't have much space at all. I won't be able to screw it in like this, I don't think. But I got it out, guys. Hey, guys, about a, maybe a half a quart of oil, if that came out. Uh, all right, I, I won't be surprised if it's a half a quart. Low. I mean, a little less than half a quart. Uh, just can see down in there. Not leaking anymore. Uh, here's the old oil sensor or pressure sensor. Can't tell if it's bad by looking at it, but some get the new one out and ready to go in. Um, I don't know how easy it's going to go in, guys, but. Coming out wasn't as bad as I thought. I had room to work with. This is the ratchet, I, the ratchet wrench I used. See the head swivels. It's a vintage ratchet. This one may would have worked steel too. Snap on tools. Let's get this in. This Loctite sealer is the one that holds it in there pretty firmly and has a gasket. So you want to go all the way down. flush here. You want to go always to flush until so it's flush in there where the gasket can seat um, and there won't be no oil leakage. Okay, I'm going to go in like this and try to get it to going with my hand first because I don't think my fingers should go down there and get it turned. It's such a tight spot. However, I can get it to, if I can get it to angle in this way, um, I should be fine. Okay, guys, um, I want to know. I got to start it. I want to make an important note. Um, if you guys can see down in there. I got to start it. But if you notice, I'm directly on side of that um, air compressor line. I'm going in exactly how it came out when I'm turning it in. You want, you don't want to cross through at this uh, sensor into the engine block. If you do, you have a serious problem. You definitely want to cross through it. So I got it started. I got some turned in. And of course, it kind of got tight when I got to the Loctite that's on the threads. So I'm going to screw it in, guys, and um, fasten it down and then plug it back up and uh, see what we got. Okay, guys, I'm down on there, but I have this in my hand for a reason. I'll show you guys something. If I can kind of zoom down in. Okay, guys, you should look at something. The sensor doesn't appear to be flush on the frame of the engine. And I'll show you guys why. There's a lip. Okay, zoom in. See that lip, guys? That's the part that goes flush up against the engine block. So it have that little gap there. 
and it may deceive you as if you're not all the way in tight with it and you can possibly strip out these threads trying to tighten it down or um, break the sensor off into the engine you definitely don't want to break that or break the head off the sensor definitely don't want that to happen so um, yeah I just want to note that lip that's the part that seats flush to the engine okay guys I got it in but I want to kind of show you guys this how the socket fits flimsy on the um, extension so 3.8 drive socket I'll put the link in the description box where you guys can get one from if you don't have one and uh, I got the uh, the hardest part of this job to me was the plug since the plug on this sensor um, stopped in the opposite way um, had to twist the plug around and um, put it in place you know wasn't hard but just trying to get it to turn there because um there is another angle you can get up on it but my arms are too big to get in there oh and i want to show you guys this is all the oil came out it wasn't a half a quart period this is it this is nothing in that little bit a little bit on the little cardboard i threw away so um a few ounces of oil spilled out but if you guys got skinny arms, you can go directly through here and plug the sensor up. You can look dead at it, guys. You can see it. It's right there. Straight shot from here if your arms can fit within this width. But it's a straight shot. Even possibly to socket it off. Um, Using a ratchet if your arms can fit between this um, small little spot. So, um, I got the sensor on there. Uh, let's hope for the best, guys. Let me get this cleaned up, but in the car drag down and wipe this oil off that ran down off the sensor. Okay, guys, I got to run in to inspect for leaks. That's been there, so I'll clean it up after I move the truck out the way. Everything looks good. Only lights on is the tire pressure system. I got some gas, so I gotta monitor this thing. Okay guys, I'll jack it down. And um, I'll post this video if I don't have, um, I'll drive it, test drive it for a week. Cause it's been doing it frequently. Every time we drive it now, the light is coming on. It's been coming on a lot of frequent, so we'll drive it for the next within the next week. And so if the lights don't come on within a, one week, I know that was the issue um, that sent you. So I'll post the video there, and hopefully they help you guys out too. So um, let me let it down, guys. Uh, make sure everything's okay. Okay, guys, I just got back from a final test drive. It's been about a week, and um, no more issues with the light. Show you guys. Yeah, there's no more warning issues. Uh, I fixed it Sunday, and today is Friday. Um, about 6.30 p.m. Um, no more issues whatsoever. Uh, and we've been pretty much driving it, hitting, it, hitting on the road all week long, every single day. Just came back from a 60-mile uh, drive and nothing. So... I feel confident enough to post this video now, um, stating that we're, the issue has been solved. So, sorry for all this light. Yeah, the sun is blazing. So the only light we got is the tire monitor. One of the tire sensors are bad. Other than that, um, no issues whatsoever and we've been driving every single day and me deliberately driving on the little venture the little 60 mile trip i took today to make sure that it was okay so if you found this video helpful guys um subscribe to the channel i got a whole bunch more coming 
uh, a lot of different things coming. I got a lot of videos that's already been filmed that I'll be uploading to the channel. A lot of cool stuff. So um, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you guys will be notified um, when I post new content. Uh, Terrence and I'm out.